If you've been laid off, don't despair. Terrence here, welcome to Quick Takes. In this series, I'm thrilled to offer concise, practical startup advice, share founder stories, and discuss current reflections on the startup world. Let's jump right in. I've been around startups for over 20 years, and I hear the word layoffs more than most, but it still hits me hard when I hear it. I was laid off once, and as an executive, I unfortunately oversaw three layoffs. It was one of the hardest, most gut-wrenching things I've done. It never got easier, it was almost always the absolute last option in order to preserve all the jobs we could. Our worries are exacerbated when layoffs are increasing. If you've been laid off, don't despair. Yes, it might take an emotional toll on you, but every adversity can lead to better things. At these times, more than ever, you need all the positive thinking and the growth mindset you can get. In this short video, I want to focus on six things for you to consider and do if facing a layoff. Most companies won't share why they laid you off because of legalities. You'll hear statements like delays in revenue forecast, or we're streamlining, or the board is demanding the CEO to shave positions. For some companies, it's often an opportunity to let go of underperforming staff, but sometimes even top performers have to be asked. The reason doesn't matter. This isn't the time to ask why or examine what could have been done differently. Focus on what you can do now. What you can do now are things like, one, assess your financial situation. List your cash, assets, liquid, or others, Cuts that can be made and the bare minimum needed to survive. Also, look at the health insurance, your severance package, and file for unemployment right away. Number two, stay calm and reflect. Allow yourself space. Take a break and allow your mind to calm. Reflect on your own skills and attitudes. What roles did you excel at in the previous job? What things you did not do well? And what skills you need to acquire? Number three, learn from others. Find and talk to others who were laid off and bounced back. Maybe they're doing better than ever. Ask them what step they took and create a plan, which leads us to number four, make a plan. Write down how to position yourself for the next opportunity. You're not bound by the limits of your previous position. It could be a time to pivot careers. I sure did after I was laid off. You have many options and many of your skills are transferable. Number five, network. Reach out to those you've left a positive impression on. Tell them where you're at and the plan you've created. More than 80% of available positions are never listed on job sites because they're filled by internal recommendations or by networking. And number six, start a business. If you're thinking of starting a business, this might be the most opportune time to do so. But don't rush to start a business without all the due diligence required. Visit this channel for more on that. And a final note, get grounded in your belief system. Nurture your mind and spirit through meditation, prayers, or whatever works for you, and connect with something bigger than you. When you're hurt and defeated and the world feels like it's crumbling, connecting to something bigger can lift your spirits and take you places you've never dreamt you'd go to. If you have other tips on how to help those in between jobs, leave a comment or ask a question about a topic you'd like me to cover in future episodes. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And as always, giving back is important in business. So for those of us employed, reach out to your network and offer to help those who have been laid off.